Kevin is here. Let me begin, Tony, with an apology from the Sheehan boys to yeah, Mr. They, Kornheiser. They didn't help. I have a bad knee, and uh, my daughter and I shoveled out all yesterday and the day before. We did not make it over to your home yesterday, you but see. if we can get Martin O'Malley and Ike Leggett fired by 11 a.m., we can make it Wednesday morning. They should be. You the, you, you live in Montgomery County. Yeah, the, the, the this is are, awful. We won't be plowed until March. Martin O'Malley, what, what exactly is he running on? The ability to play in a band? <laughs> well, what, is, what has he done? And well, this is not. The, by the way, the, the December snowstorm was exactly the same. Montgomery County was terrible, and the district was not. So Ike Leg- what does Ike Leggett okay, do? But this is, let's give Fenty a little credit here. Fenty did good. Yeah, they did all right. Fenty did, did well. good. No. Did yes. very well. Now about tomorrow night. <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> when does it start? This is the critical thing it. for me. Let, me. let me start with this. Two of the models that we use to, to forecast, you know, the weather. We, meaning the people who know what they're doing yeah, the, or, or... The, the people like By the me way, in, in the trade. This guy, Chuck Bell, <laughs> yes. Chuck Bell, who's like a substitute guy on Channel 4, right. this, this little giddy geek twerp who thinks, oh, we only need one more inch for a new record, yeah. one, and now we can get ten more... He's got to be sent out of here. Yeah, he, is, he is a twerp. Yeah, he doesn't he's get it. He's happy. People are without power. He's happy. Yep. He's giggling. Send me your pictures. Send me your pictures. Send you, you and Hoda. Get on an island with the Inuits <laughs> in the middle of the Bering Sea. With Frank- get out. With Frankenstein. With Bobby De Niro's Frankenstein. Just on get out. <laughs> Two of the models. Am I wrong on her no. or him? Oh, he, she was she dreadful, stinks. insufferable this morning. Um, two of the models that we use to, to forecast I the weather, Tony, uh, they, they, they come out with runs every six hours. Well, the recent runs just came out in the last half hour. This storm, based on the recent runs, is going to be a little bit bigger than what they were saying this morning. Oh, now, they were saying could, 5 to 10 this, this morning. This could change, but it's going to be a colder storm, oh. which means... It will actually produce more snow with less liquid, but the last run of of the NAM model, and for those of you out there that know what it is, you know what I'm talking about, it shows 1.25 inches of liquid precip. That would be 12 inches of snow minimum, but more like 15 plus. Now, now. It's, it, it can change, but it did show a slightly s- more southerly track in development of the coastal low. And if we get that, it's going to be bad. Now, more runs come out later, and this forecast could get updated. Is there anything we can but do? But the closer we get, the odds are that this is... this this uh, What they were talking about this morning, because I think Kieran was saying 5 to 10. Yes. I think that's the low side right now. I really do, based on the last two model runs. But, we'll, you know, stay tuned to, to the forecasters. They'll update things throughout the day and tonight and tomorrow, and we'll have an update tomorrow morning. When is it supposed to start? Tomorrow afternoon, probably uh, after afternoon. Um, after 12 after noon. After 12 noon, uh, you know, depending on where you are in the area, but sometime between 12 noon and 6. Well, I have ice on all of the wires and, and snow on all of the trees, so my power lines will fall. Yeah. If you get another 12 inches... Yeah. My power line, everybody's well, th- power line. Is no- and by the way, the guy on Pepco was on the news this morning. On T.O.P. He was just, all he said was, we're doing the best we can, we're doing the best we can. And he would not even respond when the people said, well, why am I getting these automated messages as to well, how to check my meter? Right? Yeah. I mean, you know what, that guy, what's his name? I don't know what his Get name rid was. of him. <laughs> Get rid of him by 11 o'clock. <laughs> because you, at, at least you have to say this. Our people are doing the best we can, and we apologize. He never even mm-hmm. said that. He never said, I will be armed with the, you're telling me now, and we'll get this changed by 2 o'clock this afternoon. He never even said that. He's a bum. He What's his name? He was making excuses. What's I don't know name? what his name was. Get him out. But I heard the, head the of same Pepco, thing. Get out. Making excuses. and the Get out. Right. When you do- dial that number, you're getting a recorded message about how to read your meter. And if, and if you ever get anybody on the line, they don't care about you. They don't, like, I called early on Saturday, and I said, there are lines down all over the street. What should we do? They're not sparking. Right. What should we do? Yeah, we'll put you down. We'll get to you. When are you going to get to me? In July? When it doesn't matter anymore? I mean, find out the head, the name of the Pepco guy. Okay. Call up. We'll get him. Like, uh, we'll get rid of him. With, him in with O'Malley and, and we're I have it. A, We're going to have a new commander of the Death Star. <laughs> I don't, I don't, don't I mean, fail I don't, me yeah, again. I don't understand this. He gets on, and all he does is make excuses. Just acknowledge. You have to apologize. It, and he didn't. Did he, he apologize? Did. He did not. And they were very polite to him. They called him Mr. I wouldn't have called him Mr. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
I, I said, hey, pal, <laughs> what are you doing? Right. This is, you know, anybody can pal. take our money in good so weather. dismissive, mm -hmm. pal. Anybody can take our money in good weather. Mm -hmm. All right, but when the bad weather comes, we want to see you out there. Answering phones. Yeah, why don't you man the phones? Why don't you do something other than get ready for another interview? Why don't you say you're sorry? Mm -hmm. It's a failure of the system. These things sometimes happen. I share your pain and I apologize. I didn't hear any of that. None of it. No. None of, none of these people do that. There was someone else who was on from, from Montgomery County, and they said, where are all these people? There's not, nothing's happening. What's going on? And she said, well, just call. If, if you're stuck and you're freezing to death, just call the fire department, was basically her her advice they to have you. no problem taking your money <laughs> they have no problem with rate hikes they go to the county boards for rate hikes every six months nigel do we have this guy's name <laughs> if it sounds familiar it's the head of pepco you're looking for right yes apparently it's timothy pepco <laughs> no it's not timothy pepco <laughs> it's not like the head of toyota <laughs> You know, Bill Toyota. It's, no, it's not. Cy Sims. It's not that. No, Soul it's not price. the Price Guy from the Price Club or Taco Bell. Right. It's not Bell. Jim Bell. Jim Bell. <laughs> Chuck Bell. Is that his name, Chuck Bell? Chuck Bell's the weekend hack at He four. stinks. Yeah. He's a hack. Yeah. He's so happy that the snow is coming. He's yeah. so happy because he's going to get a record. Yeah. What about the yeah? What about the people who, who are freezing? Freezing the to death. The guy last night who had to walk home from the metro station. Because there's no buses. I understand if the buses can't run. Yeah. I understand that. Plow the roads. Maybe the buses can run. Mm -hmm. I understand that, that Metro above ground can't run. I, I, I understand that. It's mm -hmm. an unfortunate circumstance. All you ever ask somebody to do is say, I'm sorry, yeah. and I feel your pain because I'm in the same boat. Who is that who just called? No, it's just an intern saying could make it in. <laughs> an intern? That's right. Fire the intern. <laughs> you, I just took care of it. Do you have a list of all the people you've fired? So far today, <laughs> several politicians <laughs> and the head of Pepco and, well, and an intern. There are plows. Yeah, there are and plows, Hoda right? And Hoda Kotb. Oh, the, the but blonde he's asked anchor. for her head before. <laughs> well, yeah. but are, you not are you not impressed of how disgusting it's it is? Oh, it, it was, it's un it was it's uncomfortable to watch her yeah. this morning. It's horrible. With yeah. the camera pointed. She couldn't name five people in New Orleans Saints. Not yesterday. Yeah, just, you know. Sorry, can I read a quote? Can you can yeah, read a quote? Your Look, this is a quote from Isaiah Leggett. I guess Ike Leggett. That's I guess not, we call him. Yeah, that's Ike. We're Ike. estimating that we'll take a midnight Sunday to complete plowing operation on primary roads. Well, I've got a news flash for you, <laughs> Mr. Leggett. <laughs> it didn't take till midnight. You haven't done anything yet, have you? <laughs> right. It's just <laughs> awful it's getting here. Joke, isn't it? What else? This uh, is depressing. You know what? <laughs> no, honest to God. I, mean, I don't know where to put this new foot of snow, I'm Kevin. Worried. I have the no rooms idea. Are that's, start that's a big collapsing. issue. Where the, where Some put of our roofs have never yeah, had roofs this will much collapse. snow. Uh -huh. I know. Yeah. That, and wait. gutters. Now, yeah. th the saving grace with this snow is, is that what? it may be a drier snow. So it's well, easier to shovel? Well, it won't stick to power lines. Oh. It won't accumulate on Because it's colder, it'll be drier? Because it's going to be possibly a colder storm, not at the beginning, but towards the middle and end of it. Now they have a contest out there now. Channel 9 has a contest. What's Topper's first I, name? During the yeah, Super Bowl, they ran that promo. Yeah, so they, yeah. Uh, they, they got a lot of people to get in on this, too. I don't think that that's something we should be concerned with right now. <laughs> I don't think Topper should be making these commercials. His first name is probably Tiny. And he, and he shouldn't. <laughs> Tiny, he he yeah. should just be out. He should be working, don't you think? Is he a clown? Who are the clowns? <laughs> well, I, I actually think Topper is You like of him? I, I like Sue and Topper do a pretty good job. And you think Doug Hill's a clown? No, I, I don't think Doug Hill's a clown. Chuck Bell, you think, is a clown. Some of the people that, that forecast on the weekends, I don't think they know any more than I do. Well, we think you know a lot. I you're, know. You're the, one, you're the most accurate. And by the way, when, when a spread is 12 to 24, that's the same as 0 to 12. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't do you a lot of good. Thank you, Kevin. Well. I'm Tony Kornheiser. Shad writes, not in a, in a haiku. You have been speaking rather excitedly, so I may have missed a couple of names, but who else needs to be fired by noon? Kimberly Souter, Chuck Bell, Hoda Kotb, and soaked in New Orleans day after the Super Bowl gutter swill. Ike Leggett, Governor O'Malley, Tiny Topper Shut, that idiot at Pepco, some intern who dared move at the radio station, that other wise-ass idiot intern at BTI. Yes, yeah. that seems to cover it. Uh, Brian O'Rourke from Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania, home of... Joe Namath. Absolutely. Sounds like you'll be out of commission for a while down there in D.C., 
When should we start the airlifts of food? Do you have any requests? I'll go up to the Walmart and encourage the deli ladies with chance of cut that meat. Perhaps we could start a surreptitious convoy of cheap red wine across state borders so you won't have to remember any of this. Good luck, Mr. Tony. By the way, I am out of red wine. And I, now Kieran is going from 3 to 5 to 3 to 8. That's a fairly big spread. Three to eight. When 8 is your top number and you got 5 in between, that's a big spread. Here's a haiku from Chad. A Tuesday nightmare. Hello, it's Jim Cantori. You're going to die. <laughs> Sean Griffith in Louisville. I kept watching the news channels for reports of people cross-country skiing around the D.C. area, mysteriously being attacked by a snow shovel-wielding orange man, but never heard a peep. After hearing about the five-foot drifts around your house, clearly the lack of victims is due to the fact that you couldn't get out of your yard fast enough to take care of business. There were two women in their early 40s who who skied down my block, I would say Saturday around 5 or 6 o'clock. And I was trying to shovel, and they skied right by me. And if looks could kill, they, they'd be dead. Should have just thrown some I oil mean, in the street. Just really. I mean, how pretentious can you be? People are working here. Get off the streets. Bill Isaacson, over my weekend with Snowmageddon, I honest to God looked out my window and saw a guy with an alpine hat skiing by my sunroom windows. You'll be proud to know that I ran outside, roared up the snowblower, and ground him into a pool of something you may find in the Bourbon Street gutters this morning. <laughs> Jim and Reston, what can you do when the snow begins again? Do what I did Friday night. I was fortunate enough to have power, so I turned the heat up to 110 degrees and opened my new Window Nation <laughs> windows. All the snow around the house and on the roof melted on impact. Outside, I set fire to my white pines and lit up the sky like a college station bonfire. The result, no more snow in my yard. That's my feeling is you should be able to burn this stuff. <laughs> you should be. If you're able to uh, get outside tonight and you're out on your bike tonight, as always, do wear white and blend in. Mm -hmm.